I was very quite sick. A friend of mine came into my room, showed me an article of a guy from New York who ran with one leg. And I told myself then, if he could run, one day I'd be able to run too. There are 25 million people who live in Canada. Don't tell me that we can't raise $25 million from the public of Canada. Don't tell me that. Yesterday I was running, and I had noticed a little bit of hardness in breathing. I decided I had to go see the doctor, and it was discovered then that uh, I had primary, originally I had primary cancer in my knee three and a half years ago, and uh, that the cancer had spread, and now I've got cancer in my lungs, and uh, we got to go home and try and, try and do some more treatment, but uh, all I can say is uh, if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it, I will. Uh, Terry Fox was, you know, kind of a local hero that eventually turned into an international hero. He was a man who was diagnosed with, I believe it was cancer, and then he lost part of his leg and to raise proceeds for, you know, cancer research, he decided to do a cross-country run across Canada. Unfortunately, he didn't make it all the way, but, you know, his his passion and his spirit for you know, raising awareness and raising funds for cancer research was something that, you know, I think a lot of people can be inspired by. Terry Fox is definitely a Canadian hero to me. Uh, he's shown a lot of perseverance, uh, responsibility, respect for others. He is Canada's Athlete of the Year. I think those are all things that uh, people today have to realize that when you try and do something for others, it's, it's really important to realize who he is and, and what he represents is very important. What does Terry Fox mean to you? Once again, I'm going to go back to the idea that one person can change the world. The idea that anyone can do anything they set their mind to. If you persevere and work hard at something, you can be successful in, in any way, shape, or form. Keep up the good work and God bless them. It's been a real success story all the way around. Keep up your courage. We're all behind you. The whole damn country. What I admire most about Terry Fox is that here we had a young man understand that his end of life was coming and that it was going to be painful and it wasn't going to be fair and it was going to take his life too early. And he chose very deliberately to do something amazing on behalf of others. What I admire about Terry Fox is the fact that he chose his last days with cancer to create awareness and raise funds for people with cancer. And from my experience, we have all been touched by cancer in some way. And so I'm thankful for the decisions he made and the courage that he showed. You know, I could be the losing the leg part, but what I wasn't prepared for was the cancer, going through chemotherapy, the treatments, um, the, the hospital, other people dying, and, that, and, that, and that was something I didn't even know about, so it wasn't a shock until I actually began treatment. It's just really just inspiration. It's really, it's good to know that there's positive role models out there. Even if they've passed already, there's still positive role models that students can look towards. And considering the fact that he's a Canadian national hero, it's, uh, it's even cooler. Well, I always say leave people better when you meet them. Definitely not worse when they come into your life and when they exit your life. So I think if I think about Terry Fox in my life, um, he left us all better. And although he died and that's terrible, he inspired us all to just be better. The Terry Fox run or the Terry Fox walk for me is a reminder that we can come together on behalf of others. Uh, my uncle, Gerard, passed away from the exact cancer that Terry Fox had. It started in his leg and he had his leg amputated and like Terry Fox he was a young man and it eventually spread to his lungs and he eventually passed away. 
This uncle of mine was close in age and very important to me. So as I watched Terry Fox and his experience, I can't help but think of my uncle Gerard, who passed away at the age of 20. I would have many people that I would be walking for uh, who suffer from illness. Uh, so for me, it's an opportunity to walk on behalf of those who have survived cancer, passed away from cancer, but also it always reminds me of other, the effect of other disease on people. And so for me, the walk is, is very important on behalf of all of the family and friends that have been touched with a significant illness. I've always demanded a lot for myself and uh, expected a lot. And when I, when I ran across Canada, attempted to, the attitude I had in doing my very best was something I've always done. That's why it was hard for me to understand how I could be a hero. Right now, Terry is at home in Vancouver, continuing his courageous fight.